Okay. Uh, salam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, this is me, Mira Majid, Associate Professor of Community Medicine in Tanta University and Batarji Medical College for Science and Technology Jada branch. Uh, let me introduce to you uh, the female project of mine, which is effectiveness of problem-based learning in medical education, health professional perspectives. Uh, the project is divided into three phases. The first phase is a pre-assessment of the perception of the faculty member regarding the uh, problem-based learning as an innovative method for teaching. And the second phase will be an, in, an intervention phase. Uh, which aim at um, uh, enhancing the faculty member awareness and changing their attitudes more positively directed towards the PBL rather than the traditional method. And the third phase is a post-intervention evaluation phase. The project is supervised by a decent uh, professor, Dr. Rania Gamali Dean, a female faculty and a professor of ophthalmology at Shams University. This is a project can chart and demonstrating the uh, key milestones of the project started from January 2022 and expected to be accomplished in Jan 23, inshallah. In the initial uh, key activities of the project mostly uh, has been, have been achieved uh, more or less on time, including reviewing of the literature, uh, developing of the measuring tools, obtaining the IRP approval, submission of the first progress report and the second progress report, uh, and uh, the conduction of the pre-assessment uh, of the awareness and perception and attitudes of the faculty member. I have only uh, two steps that have been postponed two months later uh, in performance of the intervention activities in the form of a training workshop, demonstrating video and reading materials, and subsequently the conduction of the post-evaluation uh, measurement will be postponed, uh, and hopefully the remaining milestones of the project to be held on time, inshallah. As you can see, all the, the steps which have been accomplished, this is the initial phase. I stopped in step number five, uh, from uh, developing and uh, conducting the training workshop. Uh, as you can see on the right side of the slide, these are the short-term and intermediate and the long-term outcomes of the project, including uh, enhancing and the uh, improvement of the knowledge of faculty member. And the second one is to uh, uh, stimulate the trainee uh, to uh, start implementing the VBL in medical education and long-term outcome, including improvement of uh, the uh, students' uh, medical students' uh, key uh, uh, competences and subsequently better uh, medical education process and patient care. Of course, there's a lot of lessons that have been learned uh, rather than the scientific benefits. Uh, it's, I, I learned that never to hesitate to ask and seek for advice from se seniors uh, or colleagues, uh, developing the communication uh, skills in order to share your vision effectively with the stakeholders, facilitated a lot of administrative issue and acted like a magic tool, adherence to the flowing steps of the project schedule, uh, enhance uh, and guarantee heading forward to your goals. Uh, it is important to know that uh, the project plan is not a rigid one. Instead, you have to readjust and uh, uh, adapt your project plan according to the prevailing circumstances, according to uh, the study subjects' needs and their preference. Uh, so far, they do not uh, contradict with your goals. Changes have been made to the project so that the interventional activities uh, and the post-assessment measurements are postponed two months, as I mentioned before, uh, because uh, let the faculty member enjoy the summer vacation, and it was better to start with the beginning of the academic year. Uh, and due to do lack of uh, physical attendance of the trainer, uh, the focus group will be conducted via Zoom meeting and was suggested by the advisor, Dr. Rania, to expand the measuring outcomes to include the engaged students' feedback regarding the intervened uh, and uh, BBL sessions, uh, which will be conducted by uh, the intervened uh, medical educators, inshallah. Thank you.